We have known it was coming for a long time, but Bentley have finally officially lifted the covers on Bentayga, the first foray by the British luxury manufacturer into the world of SUVs. For a while now, SUVs have been the fastest growing sector of the automotive market, and it would seem that Bentley wants a slice of that pie. The Bentayga is all new from the ground up with a brand new chassis and a newly developed W12 engine specifically engineered for this car. It will kick out 600 brake horsepower and 663 foot-pounds of torque. 0 to 60 will be 4 seconds flat and it will top out at 187 miles an hour. Bentley say that this will make it the fastest and most powerful SUV on the market and frankly, it will have to be. The Bentayga wants to out luxury and perform the likes of the Range Rover and the Porsche Cayenne and to achieve that it's going to have to come out swinging. Looks wise there are no surprises, the key Bentley trademarks are all over it from the strong shoulder line to the snub nose short overhang and the instantly recognisable face. It's strange though to see these characteristics on an SUV, making it seem less like a brand new car and more of a stretched and inflated Continental. Bentley claim that the Bentayga will be more than competent off-road and has been tested in all conditions to make sure it can tackle anything any of its rivals can. How many of these cars will actually see anything other than perfect tarmac remains to be seen though. Bentley has kept its reputations of quality and luxury intact on the Bentayga with every attention to detail they are known for implemented here as ever. Undoubtedly it will be as nice a place to be as anything in the current lineup, which is saying a lot. I have no doubts the car will be amazing to drive and it will undoubtedly sell like hotcakes, but personally I think it's a shame Bentley are going in this direction. I have made no secret about the fact that I love the direction Bentley have been going in for the last 15 years, starting with the Continental GT moving away from the Rolls Royce influenced luxury limousines of the 20th century and towards a more sporty and aggressive future with cars like the Speed 6 on the horizon. The Bentayga feels like Bentley are going for an easy target, entering a car into a marketplace where the customer base is growing rapidly. It's an incredibly wise business decision and will almost certainly pay off, but it's not what I'm most excited about in Bentley's future. What do you think about the Bentayga? Are you excited about a hyper luxury SUV or does it leave you cold? Do you think it's the kind of thing Bentley should be spending their time on or would you rather see them go in a different direction? Let us know in the comments below.